ipag-aaralan natin kung ano nga ba ang mutually exclusive and non-mutually exclu exclusive. So, kailan natin ito i-apply sa mga problems. So, may mga problems ako ibibigay rito. Then, identify natin kung um, mutually ba or non-mutually exclusive events ang i-apply. Okay, unahin natin ang mutually exclusive events. Events that cannot occur at the same time. Okay, if two events A and B are mutually exclusive, then the probability that either A or B occurs is the sum of their probabilities. In symbols, we have P of A or B it is equal to P of A plus P of B, or the probability of A plus the probability of B. As you can see on the Venn diagram, we have the set A and set B. So, mayroong element ang set A at mayroong ding unique element ang set B. Okay? Um, therefore, we have the probability of A or B it is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. I-add lang natin yung uh, probability ng A at probability ng B. Okay, example number 1. A bowl contains 15 chips numbered 1 to 15. If a chip is thrown randomly from the bowl, what is the probability that is um, 7 or 15? So, since meron kang 15 chips at naka-numbers yun, 1 to 15, yeah, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, meron tayong dalawang simple events, the probability of 7 and the probability of 15. Uh, the probability of 7 is 1 over 15 and the probability of 15 is also 1 over 15. So, this is mutually exclusive kasi uh, pareho naman silang unique elements or wala silang common. So, i-apply natin ang mutually exclusive. In symbol, we have the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. Therefore, we have 1 over 15 plus 1 over 15. It is equal to 2 over 15. Okay, another example. Um, what is the probability that it is 5 or a number divisible by 3? Okay, so we have... We have to identify the probability of 5, and that is 1 over 15. And then, the probability of divisible by 3. So, we're going to um, identify what are those numbers. So, divisible by 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. So, we have 5 divisible by 3. Therefore, we have 1 over 15 plus 5 over 15. Okay, divided by 3, both numerator and denominator. Therefore, we have 2 over 5. Okay, we can apply mutually exclusive kasi uh, wala silang common. Okay, so the probability of 5 is 1 over 15 and the probability of divisible by 3 is 5 over 15. And then it is equal to 1 plus 5 is 6 and then copy the common denominator 15. And then we're going to simplify. Okay, in short, pag sinabi natin mutually exclusive events, walang common yung dalawang probability of events. Okay, so this time, we have the not mutually exclusive events. So, events that occur at the same time. If two events, A and B, are not mutually exclusive, then the probability that either, either A or B occurs is the sum of their probabilities decreased by the probability of both occurring. So, dito sa my Venn diagram natin, kung nakikita natin yung uh, point of or, or the intersection of the set A and set B. So, meron silang common. In symbol, we have the probability of A or B it is equal to probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Or ang gagawin natin, i-add natin yung dalawang probability and then i-minus natin kung ano yung common nung dalawa. Okay, so this is another example. A ball contains 15 chips numbered 1 to 15. 
If a chip is drawn randomly from the ball, what is the probability that it is um, even or divisible by 3? So, this is again the solution, yung 15 chips na naka-number, which is 1 to 15. And then, we're going to identify kung ano yung even numbers. So, ang mga even numbers natin, there are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Ang divisible by 3 natin is 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. So, ilan ba ang even numbers natin? We have 7. Ilan ang divisible by 3? We have 5. And then, plus the probability of divisible by 3, that is 5 over 15. Then, ma-minus natin kung ano yung common. So, which is meron tayong dalawang common, which is 2 over 15. And then, it is equal to 7 plus 5 is 12 minus 2 equals 10. Therefore, we have 10 over 15. And then, we need to simplify. So, 10 over 15, we can divide it both. Uh, numerator and denominator by 5. So, therefore, we have 10 divided by 5 equals 2 and 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Therefore, the answer is 2 over 3. Okay, and then titignan natin kung meron bang common yung dalawang events. So, the first event is um even number and the second event is divisible by 3. So, sa so nakikita natin, the events are they're common in 6 and 12. So, meron tayong dalawang common ng dalawang simple events. So, kung meron siyang common, ang ia-apply natin is not mutually exclusive events. Okay? So, in symbol, we have the probability of A or B. It is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So, again, ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin yung probability ng even numbers which is 7 over 15. Okay, another one, a ball contains 15 chips numbers, numbered 1 to 15. If a chip is thrown randomly from the ball, what is the probability that it is a number divisible by 3 or divisible by 4? Again, we number the chips 1 to 15. Then, we're going to identify ano ba yung mga divisible by 4 at ano yung divisible by 3. Divi divisible by 4, we have 4, 8, 12. And divisible by 3, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So, ilan ba yung divisible by 4 natin? We have 3. Ilan ang divisible by 3? We have 5. Okay. Um, the next natin gagawin, titignan natin doon sa elements ng dalawang events na yun, kung meron ba silang common o pagkakapareho. So, ang common nila is 12, which is only one. So, kung meron silang common, ang i-apply natin is mutually, uh, not mutually exclusive events. Okay, which is the symbol is the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Okay, so now let's, uh, let's find out what is the probability of divisible by 3 or divisible by 4. Uh, the probability of divisible by 3 is 5 over 15 plus the probability of divisible by 4 is 3 over 15. Ima minus natin yung common which is only 1, 1 over 15. Now we have 5 plus 3 is 8, minus 1 is 7. Yeah, then just copy the common denominator 15, therefore the answer is 7 over 15. Okay, let's have another example. Dario puts 44 mar marbles in a box in which 14 are red, 12 are blue, and 18 are yellow. If Dario picks one marble at random, what is the probability that he selects a red marble or a yellow marble? So, again, identify natin muna what, um, how many total number of possible outcomes or all possible outcomes. Okay, so our all possible outcomes is 44. So, yun yung nasa denominator natin. Okay, the probability of red marble is 14 over 44. And the probability of yellow is 18 over 44. So, they are mutually exclusive kasi wala naman silang common. So, i-add lang natin yung dalawang simple event. Okay, 14 plus 18 is equal to 32 over 44. Or in lowest term, we have 8 over 11. 
Okay, that's all for now guys. Thank you for watching. Sa mga gusto pa pumanood ng mga uploads ko, so please click my YouTube channel, Matt Ish. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and to click the bell button below for more videos. Thank you!